Hi everyone, welcome to the Cookie Couture. Today I will share with you how I like to prepare the royal icing consistencies to decorate cookies using a royal icing mix. But first, if you're new here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started. Please click the link above to see how to prepare firm royal icing consistency using a royal icing mix. I am going to start by telling you how to prepare the medium consistency icing that is the one that I like to use to make the outline on the designs of my cookies. Very good, here I have a half cup of firm royal consistency icing. As you can see it forms very nice firm peaks and it is a little hard. I am going to start adding half teaspoon of filter water plus one quarter teaspoon of water. That is about three grams of water. You can use teaspoons or also you can weight the water in a scale. And I am going to mix very well until everything is well combined. This consistency needs to be very similar to a toothpaste. If you feel that it's a little bit hard, you can add tiny amounts of water at a time. When you use this consistency to outline the cookies, it will make a little barrier so the flooding consistency icing don't overflow on your cookie. And this is the medium consistency icing. I like to use this consistency to outline the designs on my cookies. When I make this consistency, I look for one particular characteristic and it is that it will form soft peaks and it means that when you put the spatula and lift the icing, it's going to make a little peak that is going to bend to one side. My icing is ready. You can put this in a tipless pastry bag or you can use a pastry bag with the decorating tip number two or two and a half to outline the designs. Now let me tell you how to prepare the floating consistency that is the one that you're going to use to cover most of the surface on your cookies. Very good, here I have half cup of firm consistency icing and I am going to prepare my floating consistency icing. And for that I am going to add two teaspoons and a half of filter water. That are about 7.5 grams of filter water. Now I am going to mix until everything is well combined. As you can see, this consistency is going to be more fluid and you're going to be able to mix it easier. And that characteristic that I'm looking for in this consistency is to have an interrupted ribbon of icing. And my icing is ready. Now the only thing that I need to do is tint my icing, transfer it to a sealed tight container and let it rest for a little bit so if there are air bubbles they can come up to the surface and I can pop them and start decorating my cookies. Okay guys, this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching and if you're new here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and see you next time. Bye bye!